Bim, guess what? We're back and we're doing a live stream of cart testing on the Super Nintendo. But my internet connection, which is Virgin Internet, is rubbish. I'm not angry, I'm just desiccated. Disappointed even. One or the other. God's sake, why does nothing ever work? Right, they're not dropping frames. I'll turn the router off downstairs and turn it back on again. Might make a difference. Everything else has gone wrong, so why not the router break? Yeah, okay. So, we've got these cartridges here which have been traded in. They're not in real boxes. Um, they're in printed boxes. Um, plastic ones you can buy online. Um, and then you print the covers off. There's no doubt there'll be somewhere where you can print the covers. They look really smart. And if you've got them in your, in your cupboard or on your shelf, you can still see what the game is, which is pretty cool. So first one is possibly one of my favorite games of all time which is Super Ghouls and Ghosts. There's a cartridge. Doesn't focus very well that camera, but don't worry about it. So plug it in, switch it on, and see if we get anything. Obviously not. getting anything oh there we go we're on now hopefully you're getting sound yeah you're getting sound that's good turn the sound down a little bit and put mine up a little bit so you can hear me underneath to Jesus, that's loud. Hello, Toff, DC, and Carly. Um, so, we're live streaming. It's very exciting. Apparently there's a new version of this coming out. Got sent a very short video of it. <laughs> Off of Exo Titan. Beautiful princess. 
but wait. What could possibly go wrong? Where's he falling off in the castle? But he might as well have just gone out the window. Can't wait to play the first stage of the remake a hundred times. Yeah, it's a bit like Sonic the Hedgehog. If you had Sonic the Hedgehog on the Mega Drive, uh, you've done Green Zone Level 1 a billion times. Let's look it. Something's enough. To be fair, that wouldn't be a good thing. Not a Lewis Hamilton fan. Right. One day I'll do one of these and it'll work first time and everyone will be happy and won't believe it. I won't believe it either, I'll be honest with you. It looks as clean as anything, so I can't see it being mucky. It is a bit mucky, but not overly mucky. Take TV for a reason. Right, I've seen the story. The guy who brought these in said they might some of them might need cleaning. Wasn't wrong, was he? Isn't this half the fun? See the story. Wrong. 
I don't, I, I mean bankers really don't get on anymore now. Let's go and then we'll move on to the next one. Let's get some like. Got loads of games to play. It's well over 10 here. There was going to be more, but I saw quite a few over the weekend. It's a bit annoying. Well, it's been gentle with me now. Swim, but I got past. Ken. No idea who Ken is. No idea at all. I just think these streams are free. You don't have to pay for these streams. Just have to watch some crap adverts. But apart from that, you don't pay for it. Uh, next up, everyone's favourite. Super Mario All-Stars. Again, in one of these weird boxes. Things. But it's good because you've got the, it's got the back cover. So it's like the normal box, it's just shrunk to the size of the cartridge. So I do like these. I don't sell these, I'm not trying to sell you them. But just to give you a collector, it's an interesting way of uh, looking after stuff, isn't it? Right. We'll go Super Mario Bros. 1. So there's obviously loads of different Mario games on this. Most of which are good. Well, this one and the third one. To a lesser degree, the second one. And the first one. 
and under lost levels. So yeah, they're all good. This controller's not good though, I need to get myself a new controller. Bonuses. We like a good bonus. That's what we do. We bonus the bonus. Oh, I hope. Oh, he's going the other way. That's the worst jump ever. God. So you say that, but I'd throw at you um, Mario 64. <laughs> <laughs> Controller. I don't know where my controller is. I think I lobbed it on Saturday when it wasn't working. Control the work. I don't know going for these, it doesn't really matter. Because I'm pretty much finished with this game. How dare you say that Final Fantasy is a good game? I mean, a bad game. How, can you, how dare you say you don't like it? Oh no. Stars, which is a great game, let's be honest. So next up we have got Zombies Ate My Neighbours. Of course they did, Malcolm. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they? 
they got injected with the COVID antivirus turned into zombies but weirdly that's the other cartridges have been um, lengthways this one is more like a traditional cartridge uh, i.e. Um, what they call it landscape rather than horizontal which is cool so let's grab it out 55 undead levels sounds exciting mm, turrets fell over come on turret stand up You not noticed what my mouse mat is, DC. Shock, horror, gasp. So no one ever give it a clean. I don't think these will be overly dirty. But doesn't hurt to give them a clean. Smells lovely now. There you go. Good up. Rescue the neighbours in level one, zombie panic. Rescuing them, but just killing them. Get rid of that, that's annoying. There we go. Trash, trash can. Nothing in the trash can. Oh my god, I'm talking American, same trash can. Hey guys, we're going to the trash can. Trash, trash can. Have some beers. There's a pool there. an exciting game. So that's unfortunate. Alex Bolton, I was going to unblock then, but he's obviously spat his dummy out. I disliked it with his friends, so they can remain banned. 
Oh, children, eh? What can you do for them? Apart from shoot them. Although it's not legal now, is it? Although I've just done it in this game. Right, so that's that one. So next up is oh, possibly my favourite game on the entire system. Super Mario Kart. I, I feel we're peaking too soon here. I feel we're peaking straight away. Which is never a good thing. Possibly my second favourite Mario Kart game of all time. Although I did recently get old with a copy of uh, Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U with the work. Some of the annoyance. So we'll, go through, we'll just do one GP. I'll just go for Yoshi. Yoshi's the best. Just go for the first race. We're only testing these things out, we're not doing anything else. Can I do the thing? Yeah, I've got the bones. Sadly, I crashed. Oh, God, the control on this. This controller is shocking. I did say that before I started playing the racing game. My defense. So yeah, Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart, only on Nintendo, every Nintendo, oh dear, Super Mario World, right, I've not played this version, well obviously I've not played any of these versions, so I don't know if there's any, any way whoever played it before me. Has done really, really well, or something. Well, we need to keep rattling with this. Oh, that's dirty. God, that's dirty. So, Super Mario sixty four. Shouldn't game. Shouldn't game. Oh no, it's been cleared. Right, okay. Have a quick go on this because you've all seen this a million times before. It is brilliant. I had this at the old shop, um, the one before the current shop, and 
I ended up on Castle 10, and then someone come in and bought it. Like, no! But I needed the money, so I sold it. <laughs> oh, got close. Bonus level. Yay. Well done. Oh, lightning reflexes there, like a ninja. That wasn't like a ninja at all. So there you go, Super Mario uh, World. Next up, another classic, although I never really I never really got to like it, I'll be honest. It was one of them games that I was like, eh. Starwing, or Star Fox depending where you live in the world <laughs> with a super FX chip <laughs> don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't already I've got a carry bag with about 40 repro cards to get through later on. It's going to be uh, probably finishing between 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning. Because um, I've got a backlog I need to get through. And I need to get some food as well. Let's go for the game because I know I'm rubbish at this game. There might be a link to the past in that pile, I don't know. I had the Japanese version on the Super Famicom and all the writing that came up was in Japanese. So I didn't have a clue what I was doing, but what King did was I got a big sword and just chopped down that King trees like it was King Garden in, the, in summer when I was in lockdown. Good luck. Good luck. God, look at these graphics. It's like Abu Dhabi, isn't it, when they come out of the pits on the Grand Prix? <laughs> so, please end up facing. this to um, Super Space Arrow and Mini Drive. Oh look, it's uh, Attack for legal reasons, it's not an Attack. It's better than a normal thing. Getting a lovely support from you guys, that's what it is. Look at the speed I'm flying at now. Oh. oh, 
Oh, I was supposed to be, I thought it was one of mine then. I mean, it was firing at me. Die alien school. He did. So, so that's Starwing. Remember, we've got a lot to get through. Awesome music on retro games. Oh, I don't want to go that far. Don't forget to like. Right. This is a classic. And, uh,. I didn't even know this was on the Super Nintendo. Genuinely. I had this on the Amiga and I possibly had it on the Commodore 64 as well. Ladies and gentlemen. Arkanoid. Arkanoid. Dull. It again. <laughs> Bat and ball game. I had a version of this game on the uh, Amiga which had been hacked. Um, and they sampled Life of Brian. And when you set the ball up to begin with, it goes, it went, who threw that? And when you got a bonus, uh, again, only people who've watched Life of Brian will know this. If you haven't watched Life of Brian, you must watch it. It's brilliant. It's the only Monty Python thing I really, really love. Um, and when you got a bonus thing coming down, it, it went, you lucky, lucky. It's dead. But it actually said the naughty words as well. Door it again, because the bad guy is called Door. It's like do it again, but Door. Like a female deer. Door a deer, a female deer, rain a drop of gold and shine. Name a name, I my phone. For how long I wait around. Right. It's one of these games that starts off really slow and then just goes. <laughs> Date. The 11th. Stordon. 75.05. Punctable so time. To be fair, that was quite a good looking spaceship then. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice 80s graphics there. It's like the beginning of Terminator, isn't it? Oh, there we go. We're going to save the universe by the use. Scout ship. So it's a bat and ball game. What's with the story? I've had enough of that. Right, it's a bat and ball game. There I am. Someone's already played this one. Oh, we got inside. But I've released them things. Go away. Right, it's bad when you got it on, especially when you got a controller that just doesn't want to. That's better. It's better going more vertical than horizontal. Pretty sure to avoid them things. Go and get inside it. There we go. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh. There you go. I think some poor soul pay 50 quid for this at some point. That's even then. It is a classic, but I think that's enough of that. So, it's because we've still got a bigger stack to go on than what we've already done. And time is moving on. 
gonna have some egg butties when I finish these and then we'll come back and we will do the repo cartridges right so next up another game I had on the Amiga another world and again I, I wasn't aware that this had come out on the Super Nintendo I've got this and if you a regular viewer you'll have seen me play this on the uh, Xbox 360 and get further than I ever got in the entire time I had it on the Amiga um, I'm not going to play a lot of this because it's one of them games that's worthy of having a session on its own kind of thing so you know, you can get like a challenge rather than anything else another classic coming up of which I sold two of uh, one and two um, and three I had I've sold two and three but I've still got number one so that's coming up in a moment I think that one's kind of dead now let's get another one Well, that didn't help, it's made it worse. <laughs> I think we've got it now. Maybe not. So next up is a classic, Donkey Kong Country. Um, got lots of different levels on it. As you can see, I'm totally out of focus, but if you've got bad eyes like me, that probably makes it in focus. That's how it works, isn't it? I don't know. Oh no, the windowlean's been on it. I'm just advertising the fact I've got the windowlean. Wonderlings here. I'm just spraying it around the corner at the minute. A little bit of windowlean. Oh god that's mucky. Jesus. <laughs> I know it's out of focus and all that, but maybe you can see on that one. See how dirty that is. I brought them in and said I bought them all and I never really played them. <laughs> Don't forget kids, never blow on your cartridges. been down the sewer or something or in a dust bowl or something there we go so yeah never never blow the cartridges never clean the window lean that was tonight's sponsors making a 
Uh, I've never really played many of them, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I was more of a Mario. If they'd have made these Yoshi, although I didn't like the Yoshi games, I'll be honest, then I may have done, but I didn't. I mean, at the time, the graphics were amazing, weren't they? But they've not. Because it was like 3D. Something we've not seen before. Maybe I could have got one where we're not in a cave. That might have been better. Are we outside on that one? No, we're in a cave. Of course we are. Whoa. Oh, okay then. This is bonkers. Oh! Let's see if we can find one where we're outside. Oh, we're still in a cave. Well done. Yeah, anyway, you get the idea. So we've got a lot to get through in a very short period of time, so you just have to bear with us. It's a beauty cart testing. Just rattle through the games really quick. And sometimes you find a little gem that you never heard of. I'm not using Arkanoid as an example, I'll be honest, but you know what I mean. Right, next up, oh, Doom and Alder. Dessert Strike. When but this come out, uh, I thought it was you. Um, you got a dessert, you know, like a blancmange or something, and then you went on strike because you don't like blancmange. But no, it's what to do with helicopters. Apparently. Oh, that was some good nails there. Eh? I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, I feel good in my mouth as well. Yeah. As I was saying before, these boxes are good because when you get a game, you have it all. They have them all stacked up, or you have them in your drawer or whatever. You can't see what they are, unless, of course, like whoever owned this before, you write the name of the game on top of the box in a really lovely way, like that. Beautiful. Well done, mate. Anyway, didn't work. I think it's uh, time for the window lean. Oh yeah, oh god. That's the same guy at this one who had the last one that I had to clean. using a dirty cotton bud on it wasn't a good idea. One which I had on the Amiga Desert Strike. I had this uh, Desert Strike on the Amiga, yeah. And I played it on the Master System and it was awful. Really, really bad. Again. Is there a filth it is? That's, that was a brand new cotton bud. EA Sports. It's in the game. It's in the game. And the game is driving helicopters around. It's black and white. Why is it black and white? What's that? 
Can't skip. This game's just like stupidly difficult. It worked better with a mouse than it does with a, a joypad. That's one thing I did learn. How am I supposed to be saving him? Yeah, I'm saving him. Okay. God. There you go. Come on, mate. God. Someone else up there. This is probably the best I've ever played this game, actually. It's great with the. Uh... Ah, I should have saved me uh... the bombs for this one, shouldn't I? Anyway, you get the idea, because there's going to be plenty more of this coming up in approximately. 30 seconds because that was Desert Strike then came Jungle Strike it's the uh, the follow up but you look on the back you see you're not in the desert now it's green instead of sandy see completely different game Fantastic. I know they haven't been played for a few years. It's fine. The guy who sold me this, these, also sold me a dodgy copy of uh, Mario Kart that don't work. But when I see him again, I'll, uh, I'll beat him about the head with a bus ticket. In fact, they've all worked so far with a bit of TLC. Well, there's Nuclear Strike as well, which I think is the fourth one, and that was on the PS1. Nice and spy. the boring intro that's good is the white house in the jungle I don't care about the situation get your feet off the desk just because you're the president of the United States Murka, doesn't mean you can put your feet on the desk President in here, okay. Oh no, sorry, Mr. President, sir. So 
Sorry, Mr. President, sir. Anyway, once you got really excited by Jungle Strike, which is based in the well-known jungle of Washington, D.C., you could then play um, Urban Strike, which is the sequel to Jungle Strike, which um, looks like it's more in a, I don't know, Anyway, no signal. Let's get the wind in. Wind, 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 wind. Oh God, that is filthy. I could see when I looked inside then it was just yeah well not filthy just dusty you said they haven't been played for a while no I did uh, oh yeah we skipped the urban one yeah yeah Not, but it's named after the ship of um, King Republic. Strike. Strike. USR 2001. is it? It's more like jungle strike or island strike. There they gone. Well, now we're in urban. wouldn't it because there was too much going on <laughs> anyway that was urban strike such great games the, st the strike games are fantastic yippity do da yippity yay i like the strike games because they're fantastic right next up is chop lifter three is that the old classic um where is it there is where you, you fly along, but it's just left and right, and you have to pick up the, the people and rescue them. <laughs> How long have we been on for? 59 minutes. We'll chop lift off. Straight away, that's what we like. We've only got two more after this for this sesh. Ocean. They're all very laid back, these people sat in the offices, aren't they? Just chilling. Oh, 
about that. Oh. What's it made of? Oh, is he on our side? <laughs> That's what rescuing for. guys right I don't like to take more than four at a time in fact this isn't a bad version of this game So, next up, Super Famicom, someone bought this off me for 130 quid, and then we find out there was a problem with it, but the person never brought it back. It is, of course. Oh, it's uncorrected as well. Super Star Wars, we did have Empire Strikes back until the one as well, but we sold them today, a bit annoyingly. thoughts about this one. Maybe not. Stereo. Gotta be careful with this because a long time ago in Bethlehem, so the only Bible she that is by child Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. Stop playing the music. Yeah, um, the version that we sold which is the Japanese version uh, there's a bit where you you get um, uh, it's the speed sun speed I think wherever it is and uh, And uh, you have to jump over a valley, well, drive over a valley, but they forgot to put the bridge back in again. Four faults. So, game's got this isn't actually that bad, is it? I can tell I'm, I'm Joshua and Gummer. Well, you split to two then, what's that about? Star Wars. 
Morris, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Apart from playing music that's so copyrighted, it's even copyrights itself. So the last game is actually Donkey Kong Country 2. Um, which I was not expecting because I thought I'd sold two and three, but obviously I only. Oh, I think it was the two Star Wars games I sold and this one. So, yeah, that makes sense. So, last game for this session. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. To be fair, if you haven't already, have you found the channel? What part of the dark web have you been on? To come across this thing. Oh, yeah, bit of dust. We're still friends. Uh, Diddy Kong's quest. Get by a rat. I'm a monkey. Oh, he's, po he's pointing me in the right direction. Okay, I'll let you off. I thought he was an enemy. Oh, get up! through a barrel. What should I do? Uh. So anyway, you get the idea. So there you go then. That was... Oh no, I'm gone. So the one left, haven't we? Didn't work before. See if it's worked now. Every other one's worked. story where you're a scientist and you drive to work oh we've already done all that and you have to get out of here quick before the tentacles come and get you now oh, they got me game over permadef press I thought it said S to continue I'm pressing up already. There we go, we're free. So we end up now on here. Now we can go left or right. Can we run? Right, okay. There's run, yeah. So we go this way. Oh no, it got me. I'm dead. Permadeath. Just 
ready to continue. And you're back here again. I'm doing it a disservice, I'll be honest with you. But it is actually quite a good game. It's just really annoying. So there you go then. They all worked. Which doesn't surprise me because generally speaking cartridges are bulletproof. It's the highest rated game ever, computer game review said. Wow. I mean it's good but and it's certainly different for its time. And the graphics at the time as well were, were quite good as well. They don't look it now, but at the time they were they were they were really good. So we've played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen games in one hour and ten minutes. And I'd say ten minutes of that was faffing around. So we will leave it there for now. Huge thanks to everyone who's watched uh, and talked. So Tough TV, DC number nine, Carly, Any, Gold Darley Coo, um, Alex Bolton, Andrew. Thank you, oh, Lee Yates. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you still are. And all being well, when I've had some egg butties, I will see you in a bit. Until then, 